it seems the tadpole allowed you to share more than you oh, no. with your companions. <laughs> Without pretense. Why do we have a half naked mind flare next to us? Chat, you did well dare to, to explain. The Githyanki, who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. Mm, you, you led an exciting life. Why did you conceal it from me? Why did you resort to sub subterfuge at all? Necessity, not design. But I'm glad you appreciate the richness of my experience. Yours has been no less exciting, but even with all your experience, it has not been easy. The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flare. Oh, so I did what I had twist, we're not gonna destroy it, we will I control it. Your motivations. Your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. That you are complex and full of contradictions. It was no easy task, but I had to persist. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how reasonable you would be. Hmm. You saw straight to the core of what really mattered. I could have done with a little more coddling. I didn't get that impression, and my calculations are never wrong. Sometimes, I felt almost like we were dancing our way towards something deeper. Oh, wait a minute. Is he trying to have sex with us? Is the mind flare or the tentacle phase pick, uh, picking uh, up on us? Uh, okay, we're gonna do a, a save here, you know? Because if this is a going where I... Where... You're trying to flirt with me now. Would you like that? Perhaps? The back of your mind warms with a rush of feeling. The Emperor's feeling. Heat. Care. Arousal. Take its tentacle in your hand, invite it in, lean in towards it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning in. You feel its breath merging into yours. Cold, smelling faintly of vanilla and garlic. Its breathing quickens as you pull in close to its face. Its excitement palpable. You pause a moment as a thought occurs to you. Where is a mind flayer's mouth? <laughs> a memory stirs. Diagrams in a book you read long ago. A mind flayer's mouth is underneath the tentacles. Would you mind parting those tentacles? Uh, okay. That's a kiss, I presume? I'm scared. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. So... <laughs> Everything you've ever dreamt of and more. The single greatest experience of your life. Pleasure upon pleasure, as mind and body intertwined. It was hard to tell where thoughts ended and feelings began. You can read the Emperor's expression better now that you've connected on a deeper level. You know it feels the same way. Oh. It seems the tadpole allowed you to share more than you oh, no! with your companions. I said I'd protect you from the absolute, not each other. And I no, was no, distracted. No. Come. It's time to get dressed. We have work to do. No. The whole party saw just what we did. <laughs> mm. I am tempted. But it will be quite some time before I am uh, able to do that again. And time is not on our side. Uh, oh well. Mine plays stamina is bad, yeah. Has grown to monstrous proportions. And through the crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now, with its hive mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. We must stop it while we still can, before we too become its slaves. Yeah, I think we will... <coughs> Go and speak with um, Lysel and clear things up, I think. <laughs>